All right, this short video is to show you what to look out for if you cannot use your um, motion axis direct commands. So if you come in here and you cannot come in here and use this if it faults out, then you need to first open up your servo drive and verify one thing. If this box is checked, this drive enable box, then you need to check your drive enable um, your income bit, incoming bits going into your actual uh, kinetics drive to make sure that your drive is enabled. Now if it is not enabled again you need to do not break the code um, or do not change this. Uh, what you need to do is you need to you know reset your system get everything going. Generally speaking this is going to be from a safety input or something like that. What am I what am I saying here right so if you can't if you go in here to motion access direct then you go to cut it on it will fault out right and we'll have the axis faulted. It will basically come in here and say right here, execution error. Now, why is it execution error? It's very, very simple. It's becoming over here, and I just come over here and uncheck this box because I don't actually have any kind of inputs going into my controller. I don't have any hardware inputs. This is just a servo on a table uh, for that matter. And let me reset this as far as it goes, clearly fault. Um, let's come over here. And let's go to motion axis command right now, and let's go to cut, cut it on. We can cut, then cut it on, and we can actually then start controlling it. So at that point, it is now spinning. The motor is actually spinning at uh, our 10 uh, speed of 10 right now. So if I were to look at the actual properties of that axis drive, you could easily see that it actually is running. Let's see, come right here. And we go to all the way down to our axis, and you can see that the actual position is spinning. Now, if I open that, open that back up, motion axis direct, direct commands, and I were to go into stop, you can see the servo does stop. And at that point, I would cut it off, and then you can do a fault reset. Now, just to show you, that was just to show you if you do have the problem where you have the error, where to go to look. You need to verify your system right here if the most of the time that, that happens it's going to be the drive input is uh, checking is checking for that drive enable right so you need to make sure your drive enable is actually set it is working and again do not change that that is therefore it by design of your OEM or by design by your manufacturer or whoever you're you're actually troubleshooting or going through so make sure you just verify that go ahead and look at the prints or go ahead and trace the wiring down or look in the program to see if sometimes it's just as simple as hitting a reset button right so sometimes machines need to be reset and that is because of a safety protocol right I have this bench tested right now so I am not using that hardwire input right I'm not using that uh, drive enable bit I'm not drive enable wiring it's a hardwire um, wiring on the the actual K6K card or actual uh, kinetics uh, drive card. So just so you know that, uh, I just want to give a pass on that, you know, that real quick information pass on that video. So hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you guys on the next one.